Ramadan Mubarak, dear friends, and welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Anya, your guide through this season of reflection, growth, and discovery. As we embrace the spirit of Ramadan, a time of devotion and renewal, I'm honored to have you join me on this sacred journey. Whether you're observing this blessed month or simply seeking inspiration, our time together promises to be enriching and enlightening. So gather around as we explore the story of Sauda bint Zama, weaving in the essence of Ramadan into our discussions. Let's embark on this soulful adventure together. Sauda bint Zama, also known as Sauda bint Zama, holds a revered position in Islamic history as one of the esteemed wives of the Prophet Muhammad, revered as the mothers of the believers. Born into the Banu Makhzum tribe, little is known about Sauda's early life, including her family background and upbringing. However, historical records indicate that she was initially married to Sakran ibn Amr, a notable figure in the pre-Islamic era of Arabia. Unfortunately, Sakran passed away during the early years of Muhammad's prophethood in Mecca. Following the death of her husband, Sauda faced the challenges of widowhood in a society where women often relied on male relatives for protection and support. However, Sauda was known for her resilience and faith, attributes that would later define her character. In the face of adversity, Sauda chose to embrace Islam and join the growing community of believers in Mecca. As persecution against Muslims intensified in Mecca, Sauda, along with other early Muslims, sought refuge in Abyssinia, modern-day Ethiopia, under the protection of the Christian ruler, Nagus. In this foreign land, Sauda and her fellow migrants found sanctuary from the oppression they faced in Mecca. However, the desire to return to their homeland remained strong among the Muslim community. Eventually, circumstances allowed for the return of Sauda and other migrants to Mecca. Upon their return, Sauda found herself in a changing landscape as Islam continued to gain momentum despite the opposition from the Quraysh tribe, who held power in Mecca. It was during this turbulent period that Sauda's path crossed with that of the Prophet Muhammad, whose teachings and message of monotheism resonated deeply with her. Sauda's second marriage to the Prophet Muhammad marked a significant turning point in her life. Following the death of his first wife, Khadija bint Kuwailid, Muhammad sought to provide companionship and support to Sauda, who had endured the loss of her husband. The marriage, which took place around the time of the Hijra in 622 CE, symbolized not only the union of two individuals, but also the solidarity and mutual support within the Muslim community. Sauda's presence in the household of the Prophet Muhammad brought with it a sense of stability and compassion. She became known for her piety, kindness, and unwavering devotion to Islam, characteristics that endeared her to the Prophet and the Muslim community at large. Sauda played an active role in supporting the Prophet Muhammad in his mission, offering her wisdom and counsel during moments of difficulty and adversity. Despite the challenges she faced as a widow and immigrant, Sauda remained steadfast in her commitment to Islam. Her marriage to the Prophet Muhammad was not only a personal union, but also a testament to the inclusivity and compassion advocated by Islam. Sauda's resilience and faith serve as an inspiration to believers, reminding them of the strength that can be found in adversity and the importance of steadfastness in the face of hardship. Following the death of the Prophet Muhammad, Sauda continued to play a significant role in the Muslim community during the caliphate of Umar ibn al-Khattab, one of the early Muslim leaders. Her wisdom and experience were valued by the community, and she actively participated in the affairs of the nascent Islamic State. Sauda passed away around the year 674 CE during the caliphate of Umar ibn al-Khattab. She was laid to rest in Janat al-Baqi, a cemetery in Medina, where several other companions of the Prophet Muhammad are also buried. Sauda's legacy endures through the generations, serving as a reminder of the pivotal role played by women in the early development of Islam and the importance of resilience, faith and compassion in the face of adversity. And as the sun sets on our time together, I extend my deepest gratitude for joining me on this enlightening journey during Ramadan. If you found this video meaningful, don't hesitate to share it with your loved ones and spread the spirit of Ramadan. Your support fuels our collective growth and understanding. 
If you have any reflections, questions or experiences you'd like to share, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Remember, the lessons learned and connections made during this sacred month extend far beyond these moments. Until we meet again, may your Ramadan be filled with blessings and until next time, take good care of yourself. Ramadan Kareem and farewell for now.